What's up guys? Today, we're gonna be talking about what I keep inside of my knife bag. Now, we're gonna start off with your basics. So, working over the years, I've accumulated a lot. And that being said, I've learned a lot and I, keep, I tend to keep things on me that make my life easier. So we're gonna start off with your first things that you have to have when you're going to work in a kitchen, period, point blank. There's only a few things you actually need to work in a kitchen. And honestly, one of them you don't even need because most kitchens actually supply them. Your biggest thing is your notebook. You need a notebook and you need a pen. You have to write down everything. Like, that's in order to stay ahead in order to remember recipes, anything, everything, period. Because if you ever been, worked in a kitchen and you had to walk into a walk-in and you just forgot what you needed, having that written down would have fixed that problem. And then the other thing is literally just your own knife. It just makes life easier, I think. So having my own just makes me feel better. When you have your own knife, you don't have to worry about sharpening it every day because it's your knife. You're not having to worry about someone else using it. I don't have to worry about sharing a knife with somebody. I don't have to worry about anything. So now let's go ahead and jump right into what I keep inside of my knife bag. So let's unfold this bad boy. Turn it around so you can take a look. So these are my main things I keep in my knife bag on top of the notebook, the knife, I also keep another book that I uh, that I also keep recipes in that I've already had printed out or written down myself. So that just keeps me ahead on top of the notebook I have in hand. So here you can see I have a worn down knife bag. It's been with me throughout the beginning and I've had it. I've really enjoyed it. It's kept my, up with my knives and it makes it where I keep my shit in check. So let's go through my knife bag. I have your simple potato peeler or peeler in general. It's really just great, honestly. Does everything. Uh, I'm sorry about the tape here. You know, it's worn, you know, sue me. Handy dandy lighter, that's always a must. You never know when your uh, stove top just won't catch on fire. So just having that just ideal. This is a jalapeno core. I never use this. A coworker of mine just gave it to me and I've just had it ever since. So it just stays, just chills out in my bag. Tomato core, you know, green tomatoes, you don't usually want the core, but you slice them and you want to keep as many tomatoes as possible. Your basic thermometer, uh, this is actually the first thermometer I've ever purchased. Uh, I've just had it for a very long time and I've just never felt the need to get rid of it. Because if it works, why replace it? And then another, Simple thermometer, nothing crazy about it. Just your simple handy dandy thermometer. You always have to have a thermometer, period, point blank. You have to be able to temp your stuff. Now these are things that aren't really essential. Uh, they're just in my bag because I use them for mis miscellaneous things. Uh, like these are tweezers. It's honestly easy to like taste something really quick or gently place something on a plate. You know, anything. Anything that tweezers are for, really convenient in the kitchen fine dining plating essential. Uh, this is for pasta making. Uh, it's a pasta roller. I use it a lot when I used to make a lot of different pastas from scratch. So that's something else I keep in my bag. And then an offset spatula. You know, you get little designs with it. You can smooth sauces and all sorts of other things out. It's just good to have. Something else I keep in my knife bag. So let's get to the big guns. The things that you've all been waiting for. So let's open this bad boy up. Be careful when you're opening up your knife bag because you could slice yourself. And I forgot to mention another pin. You always need a backup. You never know when you're gonna lose one. All right, so this is the, the main bag. I keep my knives in here. Um, you know, I keep them all together really. So let's take a look, or let's talk about what you're looking at right now. So these are the main things I use in the kitchen. Some of them I, do, I use a lot less than others just because they're not needed all the time. Now you always need tasting spoons. I, I usually have more than this, but they're all in my kitchen because I've been tasting things. Spatula. You always need a spatula in any situation. Now, a lot of kitchens offer these. They just have them on hand. So you don't need to purchase your own. A lot of these things you don't need to purchase your own. Just those few things that I said at the beginning, like your chef knife 
and your notebook. Those are the main things you need, essentials. But these are things that make my life convenient so I don't have to go look in dish pit or wherever else clean dishes are. I have them on hand. Okay, so I have a zester. Really nice to have, really basic microplane. Uh, able to zest lemons, oranges, all that good stuff with getting all that flavor out without just juicing it. Because that juice is just extra flavor, just topping on topping of flavor. <laughs> I don't use this that often. I simply bought it because I broke my chefs. So this is my crab shell cracker. It's really convenient when you're like cleaning crab. <laughs> That's really the only thing I use it for. It's just cracking those shells. Uh, so now we're to the knife. The main show, the big deal. You know what I'm talking about. Let's start with the ones I don't use as often because they just sit in my bag and they look pretty. So this is a cleaver that a chef of mine gave me. It's very nice, very durable, and it's been with me for like two years now. But honestly, it's I'm sad to say that I don't use it that often. Uh, a chef of mine gave it to me and then his chef gave it to him. So it's kind of like an award. It was given to me because, you know, I'm pretty loyal and I'm pretty good at my job. I'm pretty proud of it, to be honest. So it just kind of sits in my bag. It's really good for breaking bones down. It's heavy and it's kind of big. This is my sushi knife, my carving knife. This is what I bought it for was to carve things, even though that's not what it's necessarily made for, but that's what I use it for. It sits inside the sheath. It's pretty badass. I actually have a review on it on my main channel, but it was from years ago. And honestly, I wish I could redo it, but it's there. So why take it down? This is a Dalstrong sushi knife. Uh, I've had it for a little while now and Dalstrong is my main go-to knife. Uh, I use Dalstrong the most because it's a good mid-tier knife and it's affordable. So then my bread knife, it's a nice handy dandy bread knife. You know, it does things, it cuts bread, you know. You always wanna think about the future when you're purchasing a knife because they could break if they're not durable enough. So it's just ideal to just purchase one that's gonna last for years on end. So this is my bread knife, it's a Wustoff. Wustoff, one of the tops, one of the best friends you can get. So it's been with me for about four years now. It's a good knife. And then a parry knife. Now this was a really cheap one, nothing crazy, really nice. You know, it's just good for peeling vegetables, cleaning asparagus, cutting little fruits. Anything that you can do with your hands, this is good because you can manage things with your hands and the knife without hurting yourself, of course. So now the big boys, my main dogs, my big boys. So these are also Dow Strong. These are my chef knives. I keep them in a rubber band because I tend to keep these on my station at all times. Let's start with the smaller one. This is my main one, the one I use the most, the one I mentioned earlier. This is my, I believe, nine inch chef knife by Dalstrong, it's the Phantom series. Now, I'm not sponsored by Dalstrong by all means. I'm just a fan, been using them for a long time. They've lasted me years, so might as well keep using it. So this is my main go-to knife. I use this for like chopping vegetables, um, cleaning fish even, so the smaller ones, the smaller ones, because it's kind of bendy and bendy knives are good for cleaning fish. So this is my big macho, my big boy, the big man, big chungus even. Uh, this is also Dalstrong. This is the Shogun series. It is, uh, you know, I bought this used, so it's a little scratched up. It's been worn and torn, but you know, I use it a lot it, and it's a little heavier. So really things like lemongrass, for example, is a little more tough to cut. So something like this, a little heavier, just is a little easier to use. So having a big assortment of knives tends to make my life easier and not just knives, but anything, any of my tools that I keep on hand, they make my life easier. I'm able to write things down when I need to. I'm able to peel things on the fly when I need to. Anything. I can make pasta from scratch myself without help. Those are my go-to tools that I keep in my knife bag. And you know, if you guys like the video, please be sure to let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I, I figured I'd start talking about my things that I've done in kitchens more often because right now is a tough time and people are a little intimidated by still working in kitchens right now because of COVID 
and all the other craziness, you shouldn't be scared. And it's hard work for sure, but it's honest work, honestly. So thanks guys, I appreciate you watching. Give the video a like, subscribe to my channel. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.